Hello everybody. Okay guys, going to be doing a quickie product review. I feel terrible today, but being that it is the only darn time that I have to make a video, so I have to just utilize my time in between doing everything else I do. Okay, I want to talk about this. I've talked about this for years. I know you've seen this on my channel. I mean, OMG, I think I have like 2,800 videos on my channel or something close to that. So I have bought and tried and talked about this over the years and it's been a repeat buy. And it is uh, jojoba oil and I use this on my face. And I've been using this forever. And when I say forever, I'm thinking in beauty terms, which would be 10 years, that would be forever. And I am that one that become a skincare expert at age eight. By the time I was age 11, I was really le legitimately a full-blown expert on skincare and becoming an expert on hair care as well by the age of 11. So the young age of eight, I jumped right into skincare and I have been loving it ever since. Been using this product for about 10 plus years. Really do like it. I will say this. I noticed maybe there is a formulation change and I'm kind of not feeling it. I'm kind of not liking it. And when I say that, it's because of the fragrance, the smell, the odor coming from it. It has a little bit of an odor, and it seems like it's kind of a, a cross between an, a sweet order of order. Sweet. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk today. My sinuses are a little messed up, so that's kind of bothering me. But anyhow, the smell is kind of in between a petrolatum smell, like a petroleum Vaseline type of petrolatum odor slash sweet kind of sweet odor okay so somewhere in between it has that type of smell I'm not feeling it I am really not feeling it and I'm almost um, wondering when it was reformulated because like I said I use this a million times over but anyways it is what it is with the smell I do have a sense sensitivity issue and I have crazy bad sinus problems, and I'm probably talking right now like I'm all stuffed up, which I am. Uh, it just seemed to work okay despite the smell, but it did put me off from the smell. I was put off from the smell, and it has me thinking, will I reach for this again, and will I buy Desert Essence Organic Jojoba Oil again? I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe no. I might not. Probably not, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. And I do feel that, you know, and if the smell changed, that's kind of an indication ingredient-wise it's changed. Let's take a look at the bottle. Let's turn the bottle over. <clears throat> I am so choked up. My sinus problems this week, you guys. I know, complain, complain, complain. Hate to complain, but it is what it is. Okay, so, and I always sound so muffled up and, and, and scratchy throat, you know why. Okay, I'm going to try to show you the ingredients here. See where they put the ingredients at the top or the bottom. Now, I do see the Leaping Bunny. It's cruelty-free. I do love that. I will say I do find it to still be very moisturizing. It is very emollient. Obviously, it's an oil. It is what it is. It does what it does. It <clears throat> seals up your skin, basically. And the oil does penetrate your skin very nicely. And it moisturizes very nicely, which I like. I still like that. I was just a little off-put from the fragrance, okay? And it's still cruelty-free, which is good. I see the Leaping Bunny. I know I just said that. Let's see if we can zoom in on some of the ingredients. Also, you guys, this is something that has a high rancidity rate, rate of rancidity. It will go rancid, so be sure to keep this in a dark place, in a dark cabinet in a dark drawer, in a dark closet, just somewhere where it's dark and out of sunlight and out of artificial light as well, such as light bulbs, okay? Because the rancidity factor of it, you can actually spoil jojoba oil very quickly with the light. So do store it in the dark, keep it in the dark. Okay, we're just kind of checking out the ingredients. And this bottle, and like I said, this is the same brand I've always used, Desert Essence. I always just swung back towards that brand and liked it. And the fluid ounces on this is about, it's pretty small actually. I think it's about four fluid ounces. And that's what it looks like. And it, and it still is a golden kind of miracle oil. 
but it does have a fragrance and I don't like the darn fragrance you guys I don't like that but it does moisturize well still it's still emollient you know it's still good for the face it's still good for the skin it's good for your neck your decolletage your decollete um, I rub it down my shoulders it's still good for that and every now and then I will put a little jojoba oil on the ends of my hair a uh, little bit of moisturization and and kind of mending up where the split ends might have used to been you know what I mean I love you guys take care thank you for watching bye beauties bye handsomes bye guys bye girls